Hi, I'm Paul Chavez, Acting Public Safety Director for the Pueblo of Laguna. In light of the current coronavirus situation, we thought it was important to bring some more information to you regarding public safety services at the Pueblo. Most importantly, should you need the police department or the fire department, call 552-6666 just like you always have. The police building in Mesita is closed to the public. If you need a police report, again, call 552-6666 and we'll arrange to get that report to you. Officers will be taking steps to minimize contact with the public during this pandemic. Follow any instructions that are given to you by a police officer or any first responder, and unless otherwise instructed, stay at least six feet away from the police officer or anyone else. All violations of the law will continue to be enforced as normal, including traffic violations. So in addition to keeping your hands clean, you need to keep your nose clean. For the detention facility, it will be closed to the public until further notice, as will all visits to prisoners will be uh, suspended until further notice. If you need to get money on an inmate's commissary account, please visit www.accesscorrections.com. That's accessdirectionscorrections.com and follow the prompts to get inmate money on an inmate's account using a credit card. If you don't have a credit card or you don't have access to the internet, please call 552-1986 to contact the detention officer and make arrangements to drop off a money order. Again, we don't accept cash. If you need to bond somebody out after hours, again, call 552-1986 to make arrangements with the detention officer. Because of the critical role the fire department is playing in our coronavirus response, they will be doing a separate video to pass on information from their fire department. All Pueblo residents should be assured that the Pueblo of Laguna is doing everything it can and the Public Safety Department is doing everything it can to keep you safe. But it's important for you to lend us a hand and do your part. Practice social distancing as recommended and continue to stay at home unless you absolutely have to leave. Keep your hands clean and also don't take any unnecessary risks. And please, don't get into those situations that will unnecessarily cause law enforcement or the fire department to have to respond to your residents. By working together, I'm sure that we can come through this situation stronger than we were before. Thank you.